everyone, welcome back to my channel and today is day 13 of the 25 boxes of Christmas. If you have missed any of the previous 12 days, you can click up there and watch the playlist which will have the informational video and the previous 12 days. That way you have a chance to enter into all the giveaways if you want to and check out what all subscriptions we've already done. Let's see which one we're going to do today. For day 13, we are going to be looking at box number 14. Let's go get box 14. Hey guys, you gonna help me find box 14? Are you gonna help me find box 14? Oh, what do you know? It's right here underneath these soldiers. Box 14 on day 13. That was really close to being the same day in box. Not quite though. I'm gonna move the giveaway item over here. It's funny that it's square-like, just like the subscription. It's not the exact same size, but it's pretty close. Let's check out what we have for today. KiwiCo. I have been wanting to review this subscription for a very long time and KiwiCo actually has multiple different subscription types for all different ages. I think starting all the way from baby all the way up to grown adult. The one I chose to do was the Maker Crate and I went with this one for two reasons. One, it was geared more towards the adults, but also because I had a request to have a art and crafts type box and this was perfect for it. Because there is so much to explore about KiwiCo, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick screen recording with you guys so that we can get a look at the website together. It looks like they currently have a 20% off of everything with code HOLIDAY, so that's good to know in case you're wanting to try to get one of these before Christmas. And you can see up here, you can shop for all ages. You can shop from zero to five years old, five to nine, nine to 12, and 12 plus. But um, and then a little bit about their subscription is they have projects for every age and interest. You can pick a plan. You can do monthly, quarterly, every six months or 12 months, and then receive a fun filled monthly crates. So here, right, right here is what I wanted to show you. They have the Panda Crate, which is for newborn to 24 months, which is probably gonna be full of toys and other kinds of activities or things that would help with growth um, for that age group. And obviously everything would be safe. Then there's the Koala Crate, which is two to four years old, and it's a play and learn crate. There's the Kiwi Crate, which is science, art, and more for ages five to eight. So that would be more your elementary age. So they're still um, anywhere from kindergarten to maybe third grade, kindergarten to third grade. Then you have the Atlas Crate, which is geography and culture, ages six to 11. There's the Yummy Crate, which is ages six to 14, which is science, the science of cooking. So that's great for any of you who have kids or grandkids that are interested in learning how to cook and all that kind of things. Then there's the Tinker Crate, which is science and engineering for ages nine to 14. The Doodle Crate, which is create and craft for ages nine to 16. The Eureka Crate, which is engineering and design, that's probably your more complex engineering compared to the Tinker one is gonna be geared more towards that age level. And then the Eureka Crate is like advanced engineering type projects. And then I got the Maker Crate, which was ages 14 to 100, and it's art and design. And I went with this one, as I mentioned, because of the uh, request for an arts and craft type box. And I just thought this one was, I love the variety here. And I don't think the subscription costs that much. $32.95 a month. I had a discount, so I ended up saving $9.88 the first box, but that's what I mean. It was pretty affordable compared to other subscriptions that I get. I mean, 30 bucks for something where you could be creative, 
and really get your creative juices flowing, like that's amazing. Plus all of the other options of crates that they have, there's something for everybody. Macrame planters, I actually have a friend whose wife just started an Etsy shop and she makes macrame planters and I will link her Etsy down in the description box below. From the ones I've seen, she is absolutely fantastic and talented with it. Also would make a good gift this Christmas. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to have time to actually do the crate for you guys, so I'm just going to have to show you the contents and a little breakdown of how it's supposed to work. This looks like the little booklet. It's the Maker's Guide. And it says, get started with a wrap knot, create a straight design with a square knot, macrame a twisty spiral design with the half knot, craft a round pot and geometric pot, display plants, art, supplies, or anything else inside your pots. Oh, it looks like they also have a video so you can scan a QR code and you can watch a tutorial if you need to, which I would be one who would need that. I need the visuals. Sometimes reading the instruction doesn't always compute in my brain, I need to actually see it. Once I see it, I can get it down, I can do it, which is one of the great things about YouTube. And then it says, get inspired. The beauty of macrame is that you only need two things to get started, cord and time. Use these ideas for inspiration or go your own way. Looks like they made a little keychain, a different design for a planter, a bracelet. There's the cute macrame rainbow wall designs that I've seen going around. And I do think my friend has some of those on her Etsy shop. The history of macrame. Wow, so they even included the history. That's cool, especially if you want to deep dive as to why it's so awesome. Macrame combines the practical skill of knot time with the crafty fun of design. The art of cord knotting goes back thousands of years, and part of the reasons it's stuck around for so long is because how versatile the technique is. From decorative wall tapestries to functional belts, you can macrame almost anything. The word macrame actually comes from macrama, a 13th century Arabic word for fringe. Camels in the desert wore traditionally outfitted with fringed blankets. The knotted tassels swung from blankets and kept flies away. I like that. They give you the tools to make the specific thing, and then they also give you the tools and ideas and inspiration to continue to make more after you've completed and mastered this task. So Popping in for today's giveaway. For this giveaway, you need to be 18 years or older. You can live anywhere. You need to be subscribed to my channel. You need to use the code word creative because I wanna know what type of ways you like to be creative. In fact, you can even let me know which crate out of all the different subscription plans they have at KiwiCo Crate, which one you would choose. YouTube and KiwiCo Crate are not affiliated with this giveaway. These are just things that I had and decided to give to you guys for this fun series. Giveaway starts today and it ends January 5th and winners will be announced on January 8th. I have a friend's advent calendar box, but it's not a friend's advent calendar box. Sorry about that. I actually unboxed this one last year and you can click up there and go check to see what this Revolution Beauty box was all about. It was actually pretty cute. They could have done better, but it was still cute. For today's giveaway, I wanted to pair creative type giveaway items to go with the creative type subscription. So this is a pack of origami instructions. So over here it tells you how to fold an origami crane and then it gives you a bunch of origami sheets. I thought that would be a fantastic creative thing to go in this giveaway and I already have an origami set which I did in a Sunday Funday video with Azalee and you can click up there to go watch it. We folded origami frogs and origami, ooh, crane, no, it wasn't a crane. It was a type of bird but I don't think it was quite a crane. Maybe it was a crane. You know what, it might have been. This one I'm gonna share. The next thing in here is embroidery DIY art kit. And I'm choosing to get this one because it's completely sealed and everything is in here. It has more of a Halloween-y type feel to the outside of it, but still be good for whenever you get around to making it. Then I had to put in some color pencils for you guys. There's also a pros con list. This is not so much creative related, but sometimes creativity can come to you through writing. So in case you wanted to write some stuff down, I also have a adult coloring book. It has lots of fun, more office type 
adult coloring and activities. There's actually quite a lot of activities in here. It's not just straight up coloring. Thought it would be a great addition for a creativity box. And then the other thing in here is this magnetic bookmark and you can help keep your place while you're coloring and making your way through this adult coloring and activity book. And the last thing in here is this cute little candle. It was inspired by the Anna and a teen from Anna and the French Kiss. Purple, so I wanna say it's lavender, but I really don't know. And I really can't smell it because I just can't smell things lately. But a cute little candle to burn while you're doing all of your arts and crafts activities. And that is everything in this giveaway for today. I'm gonna go ahead and cut back to the unboxing. So the things that are in here are the hooks and the little round rings that the planters are gonna be hung from. And we obviously have our twine or what they call it, a cord to start knotting. And they just gave us a basic neutral beige color, which is fine. I mean, I know you can find more bold colors if you want, and this is different from yarn. It's not the yarn kind of texture. It's definitely something different. And then look, we have a paper clay. I think they want us to make our own pots instead of just using these plastic mold. Gave us two different designs, a hexagon dome and the round dome. Don't know how that's gonna go together. They also gave us a ruler, which is very fascinating, probably so we can be precise, maybe with cutting twine, I'm not sure. This is clay tools. I definitely don't have that tool, so I'm glad they sent this one. What's the other one in here? Oh, yep, other kinds of tools for the clay. All right, and then we have this stick. I don't know what this is for. Maybe it's to help wrap around the twine? I'm sure I'll find out. And then there's this booklet in here, which is the Haymaker. It's the guides that will help cut paper clay to the right size. Oh, okay, that makes sense. These guides will help you cut the paper clay to the right size. After you cut, you'll be able to adjust and smooth the clay to make a picture perfect pot. So don't sweat about making your cuts extra straight, just go for it. I have no idea what this reference is to because I've not watched any kind of videos to figure out how to do it yet. I'm actually probably gonna turn this into a Sunday Funday video because this is something that I would do on those types of videos, which is test products, make things that come out of the subscription box, make the recipes that come out of the boxes, that's the whole point of the Sunday Funday videos. And so if you stay tuned with my channel, I will work this into the 2023 schedule because I'm interested to try it. I don't know how well I'll do. I've never tried to do anything like this before. I've never worked with clay. I've never tied a bunch of knots with macrame, but I mean, I've been curious. All right, you let me know what you think about this description down below. Is it something that you would be willing to try? And oh, of all of the different crates, which one would you pick? I think that would be a great thing to know. Let me know in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and I'll be back tomorrow with another day of the 25 boxes of Christmas. Bye everyone.